Hi guys, Dane here, and today I have an update video for you. I'm growing a beard! No, that's that's not really what the video is about, but I am growing a beard, you may notice. I don't know. That's going to uh, that's gonna wreak havoc on all of my old sort of pre-film videos. However, that, that kind of does lead us more into what this video is about. Let me get my notes. I made notes for this. Stuff. I called it stuff.txt. That's, that's useful, isn't it? Alright, so basically the news is I'm gonna change my uploading schedule so you guys know that for a while I've been doing like a video per day, which it is time consuming. What's funny about it is that it's not actually the filming and the editing that's time consuming, it's the fact that when I post a video a day, I, I can't keep up with all the comments and all this stuff like, I suppose, I mean it is... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. It's something I've been thinking about for the last two or three weeks, really. Another thing as well that I want to do, like, I want to try and have a bit more flexibility in terms of the stuff that I upload. So because I have this kind of, or I had this kind of quite strict schedule of when I'm going to upload, it doesn't leave me much space to just, like, pick up the camera and just film something and maybe do... For example, I've just picked up uh, P.D. James' Death Comes to Pemberley for my buddy read. So I could do something like a reading vlog or something like that. But anyway, I could do stuff like that. I could, like, be a bit more creative, that kind of thing. At the moment, most of my videos are obviously just me sitting here in front of the sign and whatnot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change. I'm going to do uh, three videos a week. That's still like the minimum though, I might do ad hoc ones, and the plan is to have Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Tuesdays will probably continue to be Tag Tuesdays for the foreseeable future. Thursdays, we will see. That's where I can get, I guess, be a bit more creative. And Saturdays, I'm going to continue doing my bookshelf tours, right? And there's a specific reason for that, because I know not necessarily, a lot of people don't necessarily watch them. But they're super useful for me because basically I'm working on this writing project at the moment where it's like my memoirs and but it's my life through books if that makes sense. So by creating the bookshelf tour and having these videos where I've literally got all of my books on this shelf and this shelf and this shelf, you know, it makes it a lot easier for me to go in and actually look at all the books I've got and be like, right, what stories are there around this one? So for example, there on the first shelf, I've got my Adrian Baldwin books and there's a character named after me who gets killed off in one of those. And actually the other one was given to me as a secret Santa present by the author. So there's kind of stories there. I want to write about my trip to Latvia and all of this stuff. I've actually started this on about 14,000 words. I mean, again, another thing in terms of rejiggling or whatever, my upload schedule, maybe I'll be able to do some more writing videos. I don't know, this is like the perfect opportunity for you guys as well. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of, I guess. So what I've got here is what I'm still going to do. I'm still probably going to do Tag Tuesdays, my bookshelf tours, hauls, wrap-ups, small booktuber shout-outs, days out, and any other ad hoc stuff that I think of as well. I may still do the odd review, but reviews and five bookish facts, basically, they're pretty much going. Sorry to everybody who enjoys those, because I know a lot of you guys do. But, well, A, they do get fewer views, but that's not really why. I mean, something, something just has to go for me to squeeze down from a week's worth, you know, one a day to three a week or whatever. So if I take out reviews, that's two videos a week, and then take out five facts, that's three, review, three videos a week. Uh, total that have gone leaving me just four a week, which is about kind of what I want to be at um, I'm not going to do any more archive five I do have like a bunch of stuff that I've downloaded and this brings me on to something else Which is maybe patreon, but not at the moment because I'm not big enough for patreon But you know what I mean I'm, you see a lot of people doing patreon and I think for me going down to three videos a week actually leaves me space like Because it's not the amount of filming that's necessarily a problem. I can still do a video a day if I wanted to so going down to like three a week gives me the space To then go back up, you know, there's nowhere I can go from a video a day really and So potentially at some point if there's a demand for it and whatnot I might do a patreon where you will be able to go and see things like these reviews and the five facts and stuff like this They could be patreon exclusives, but also stuff with my writing as well So, you know like deleted scenes from my books and you know, maybe poems and all this kind of stuff it's, it would be a nice little place to share all those. But again, this is very much in the future. Another thing that I did want to mention is part of the reason I'm trying to free up some space and potentially to, to talk more about writing on my channel is that I have a new book out soon-ish. 
So big thanks to everyone who's checked out Driven, the first book in the Lightfold series. Book number two, Netflix and Kill. That's finished layout now. It's finished all the edits. I've got the cover and stuff. There's actually going to be a cover design, like cover reveal soon, where there'll be news about the you know the launch day and stuff like that. So I'm keeping busy with all of that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. For me, it's just like the evolution of my channel, you know. I think one of the things that I did think is that, like, doing my one video a day or whatever, no no other booktuber really does that. With potentially the uh, the exception might be, like, Steve Donahue. He probably averages one a day, but he doesn't do one per day. He'll maybe do two or three on one day, and then, you know, the next day, one. The next day, none. But another thing as well is that I am, at the moment, certainly, I'm enjoying watching booktube more than making my own videos. Now, I do enjoy making my own videos and I find it actually very therapeutic. One of the reasons I started like doing booktube, it basically like replaced the time I was spending colouring in each evening as like a thing for my anxiety. Because I just find it very therapeutic to edit and sort of specify the you know the titles and the tags and getting the thumbnails ready and all this stuff. So I do enjoy doing it. But I really enjoy watching BookTube, and again, I spend most of my day, for me, it's like my, uh, I guess it's my, you're, you guys are the equivalent of my, like, my co-workers, because I work from home, I work freelance, and, um, yeah, I mean, I watch BookTube all day, and I really enjoy, sorry, I keep doing this with my hair, because it's getting a bit long, and I need it cutting. Yeah, so watching BookTube is like, it kind of keeps me sane throughout the day, and like, like I say, I really do enjoy watching people. There are specific booktubers, and you guys know who you are, who like, I just watch all of your videos. <laughs> because, I don't know, I love it. I'm watching Hannah Tay at the moment. She went to a book barn, and uh, it's actually frozen in a really inconveniently timed, like, still. So I'm not going to show you the screen, but sorry, sorry uh, Har Harriet. No, that's Harriet Rosie I'm thinking of. So yeah, I feel as though because I've been watching the booktube community for so long, I think when I sort of first started out and I was doing my video a day, I was kind of making up for lost time. I did actually start at this rate that I'm going back to. So I guess this is all about being a bit less of a robot and a bit less of like a TV show kind of style thing and being more like your typical booktuber. I don't know, I, I tend to go all in when I do stuff, as you may have noticed. So, um... Yeah, it's about being a little bit less all in, having a bit more time to, I don't know, probably cook, to be honest, cook and jog. That's where I'm going to spend the time that I reclaim from editing and filming. I'm, I'm going to spend more time cooking, because I've recently gone vegan. I have to mention that in every video now. But um, because I've gone vegan, actually, it I've gone vegan from being vegetarian, and I used to just eat crap and, like, frozen chips and some frozen meal or whatever. And I've started cooking really nice stuff. So I want to do more cooking, and I want to do my, like get back to doing my jogging every day and stuff. So this is kind of me reclaiming my time for that. This is all going to take effect as of next week. If you want to keep up to date with all of my reviews for every individual book I read, obviously there's still going to be my monthly wrap-up at the end of each month. But you can also head over to socialbookshelves.com, which is my book blog, and also my Goodreads, which is linked below. I review every book that I read. And I was kind of I was doing that for YouTube as well. I was filming myself reviewing every book that I read, which is why I end up with a big backlog and why I end up spending so much time filming. Like just by not filming a review of every book I read and not filming a five facts every time I get a suggestion for it. That's a decent chunk of time saved, you know. So, um, so yeah, so head over to Goodreads and give me a follow there if you haven't already. If you want to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that stuff, that's all linked below as well. And uh, other than that, I think that's it. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to be uploading slightly less. Hopefully, I'll be doing more kind of quality over quantity. But yeah, that's about all I have to say for this little update. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's come along with me for the journey. Everyone who's left likes and comments and all that kind of stuff. Even when we disagree, that's what I like about this community. I, like, I do encourage you to, if you disagree with me, <laughs> this is building on the dislikes video. They've got a few dislikes. It's kind of funny. But, um, like, if you're going to dislike my video... At least, like, leave a comment being like, well, I disliked it because I don't agree with this or I don't agree with that. Like, that is the beauty of BookTube is that we can come together and we can debate these things. And if I say I don't like a book, you can try and change my mind about it. I mean, I read Miss Dalloway recently, which was my most hated book, and I quite enjoyed it. Like, opinions aren't set in stone, you know. I, th I think every time you read a book, it's a mixture between what you as the reader bring to it, the time that you're reading it in, and, uh, you know, the book itself. So I think... 
there's always room for opinions to change. So I well, I, you know, I think we should we should do more of these lovely debates. So on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. I guess hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.